Good morning from the south part of Perth. I'll listen to my voice. That is what would have been in the past a big night out with lots of alcohol. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing a grog-free December and January, and that is the voice of somebody who's working hard and sleeping very deeply. Uh, this is a little video specifically for Sit On It Potsy. And, mate, I woke up this morning at 6am and was going to do the two thumbs of fury and tell you all about America and Tennessee and what an amazing time we had in 1991. And I just realised I didn't have the energy for it. So I hope you don't mind. I'm going to pump this video out and make it an absolute cap it at two minutes. It's currently, I'm going to say about 20 past six. Let me find out. It is 32 minutes past six, which in the old money is 28 minutes to seven, and it's around about 22 degrees Celsius, which sounds, you know, for Tennessee in your time of the year, it sounds brilliant, but it's actually a bit nippy for me. All right, 1991, based ourselves in San Pedro and then looped ourselves out from there, and we did what we call the music leg. We went to Memphis, New Orleans, Nashville, not in that order, finished in Nashville, and came back. Don't even have to think about it. Memphis, my favourite place. And a lot of people say, oh, did you love Elvis, do you? Not particularly. Not a great, huge fan. The blues music that we encountered on a Monday night in Memphis in, I'm going to say about April, was extraordinary. We could barely tear ourselves away. We had to because we had a red eye, or not a red eye, but a, an early flight the next morning to move on, I think, to Nashville from there. We went to places where the musicians were playing for tips and we told the last band, which was, I'm going over two minutes, a blues, a rhythm and blues review. It was only a few dollars down for from B.B. King's Club. And get this, we walked into B.B. King's Club on that Monday night and the staff very politely said, Oh, we're not open yet. We open on Thursday. We're having a big opening on Thursday. <laughs> and we just looked at them and said, we're flying out on Monday. Oh, that's too bad. It's so sad for you. Now get out of here. We're trying to get our, our place into gear to open. Uh, adored Memphis. We did all the Elvis stuff as well, but it was mostly the blues music. And this rhythm and blues review act we were leaving in one of their breaks. They were having a smoke out on the on the sidewalk. And as we passed by, I, in a foreshadowing four of my music-related career that I've gone over three minutes, that I've evolved into, I went up to them and I said, hi, look, you guys are absolutely amazing and you should bring the show on the road because you're here playing for tips, a full-on, I think it was about six piece um, rhythm and blues, all, all African Americans. And they would just, I mean, it was, it was soul, it was groove, it was blues, it was, it was, it was like a, a Negro uh, Blues Brothers lineup. That's what it was like. It was unbelievable. And I looked him in the eyes and I said, You come to Australia, you could sell out a tour. And the guy, I think his initial reaction was, Yeah, man soft soap, um, et cetera, pissing in my pocket. And then he got it and he realised that I was being absolutely fair dinkum. Oh, fair dinkum means truthful. And uh, his expression changed and he put a hand out and said, oh, thank you very much. Now, I would like to think they did get to a point where they were able to tour to Australia, but if not, we had that moment together. I've gone up to four and a half minutes, so I'm going to cut it out now. I might not even be able to post this. Good morning, sit on it, Potsy, from the beautiful south of Perth in Western Australia. And that's if you go down south, get to New Zealand and ask for directions. Bye now.